hello guys welcome to our channel code riders so today in this video we are going to create a calculator using html css and javascript i already created this video on chat gpt and how we create website in chat gpt so please check it out and i, and I will also request you to subscribe to our channel it will support me and motivate me and also help the youtube algo so first i will show you the demo how the calculator is going to look so this so we first add something 4 plus 4 and click on is equal to 8 and you can click on clear and you can do many things multiplication also so now let's start coding so i have already created a folder which has calculator.html, calculator.js and style.css so first we will do code in html so let's generate the boilerplate using plummet remark we will generate the boilerplate so we will link style sheet come into the body section first we will create a div with a class container inside container we will create one more div with class input which will have the input text let's give it a okay let's give the class input and text and also id what id what id we should give result okay result result come down and now we will create one zero class pro and in this we will create we will create four buttons button class button we will take seven okay seven and we will copy this four times because we want four column multiplication sign now let's copy this row for four times one two three okay. here we will add four and five and then six Uh, subtraction and one two and three here we will put addition and the last on the last row Let's put, uh, dot zero is equal to divide we will add one more row 
will be on the clear button also so we will have one more room and in that we will create a button So we have created the HTML code. Let's let's check how it's looking. So I will run. Then with live server. So see, just with the HTML code, it's looking like this. Now we will add CSS and also the JS part. So let's get back. Now we will do the CSS part. So first step is to remove the default margin that the browser gives us. We'll do zero. You now we'll see the padding. Zero. Mm, let's give the body color red, just to check. See if it is applying or not. And save. Refresh. CSS is not applied. So oh, I have done mistake. I'm just given the color, I want the background color. So let's save. Yes, now it's perfect. See it is working. So we will remove the back body part and we will do CSS on this class container. So let's copy the class. So let's copy the container class. So first we will give the width 250 pixels and to the margin. from top auto from left and right uh, from left sorry from right and then how much will be zero from bottom again auto from the left we'll give it a background color Very sure we want it to be color. This, this one is fine, so we will give this color. And then we will add border. No border, border, border radius only. The radius I will give 10 pixel. So okay, 10 pixel and let's let's just check how it is looking. So, okay, so it's looking good. So we will give text online center. Now it's in the center. We got a good shape and a background color. 
now we will add we'll give some padding also here adding and pixels so the padding good padding so now this is done now we'll do to this input class uh, input class so again the class from here paste Give it a adding first, which is O pixel from top and bottom, and five pixel left right. get aligned to the upper input part so now let's give some gap and padding in it so I will give some padding which 
would be around 4 pixels from all the sides see now there is a proper gap now let's try doing on the buttons buttons button like this okay so first I will give padding to the buttons which would be using 2 pixel let's check The border is missing. Let's add a border of one pixel solid black. And also, we will border radius three pixels. That's enough. We want the gap between this button. So I will also add the gap in the rope. We will add a column in gap in the pixels. It's perfect. See, it's perfect. If you want more, you can add more. It's perfect for me. So let's come down now what things are left. So let's try adding Google font to fonts. Click on the link. We will add this Poppins one. We'll do it very quick. It's taking time. My internet is so slow today. So I will take this one. I will select import. I will just import in my CSS part. Let's come and import the top. We will, we will come back again. Let's copy this. We will paste in the button part and also in the input. We also want the input to look in the poppins font. So we have done this. Now let's check. See the buttons are now different. Okay, so let's now. Move on to the JS part. So now let's start with our main part that is JS part. So first we will take a string. Let's string is equal to we'll first create a string, empty string. After that we will create a button buttons is equal to document. That element by adding one document dot query selector query selector all dot button because I want all the buttons now 
so what we will do we will use an array for this so we will choose array dot from buttons which we have created up and dot we will use for each and for each we will add the button because we want all the buttons use the arrow function so if you guys don't know what is for each so for each the for each is a function so it takes all the button takes all the array or all the buttons which we have created so this will take all the buttons this all buttons so then we now we will create a event listener button or add event listener on the event click and we'll create an arrow function so now in this we want the string So this will print. I will see document dot. So so first let's check this. This is working or not? We will do that afterward. So we will create an element event. Sorry, not element event. We will check it's taking all the button or not. So we dot target. Say let's check it's when we click on the button it's clicking the button or not. So we will click seven. See it's not working. No, it's not working. We will see what's the issue. We have linked this or not? Let's check that. See, we have not linked the JavaScript here. That's why it was not showing. So we will add the script tag with src. Yeah, later. Not js. Clicking number. So see, it's taken four. Then we press on one. We'll take one. Zero. It's taking zero. Also, C is equal to. So we have got the inner HTML part. We have seen that our click event is working. So now let's add the input that we are going to press. So for that we will use string is equal to string plus we will use our event e dot target dot inner HTML and then we will use, we will show our result in our input tag which has the ID of result so let's just copy the result ID. We will use document dot get element by ID. We'll paste the ID result dot value is equal to. We will use this string. So what it will do? It will take the input here in the inner HTML part, and it will just paste here. So I will show you the result. Save the file and come and refresh. And now let's press one. So see, it's taking one as input. Again, we'll press two, two. We will use plus. It's taking plus. We will plus three. 
and press equal to so now we have not done this equal to 1 so we have to fix this when we press on equal to which will give us the result that is 15 so we will come and do that so we will use the if condition here so for that we will use if so condition will be if e dot target not inner html which is equal to equal to or equal to sign then we have to do and then we have to evaluate the string so we will use string is equal to eval eval is a function which evaluates over that result that you are printing that that means it will evaluate 12 plus 3 and which will give us 15 so it will do that and we will display this in our, our input so I will copy and paste here same and I will use else part here we will put this in the else so let's control x control v and let's just save and we will check what's the output refresh again 12 plus 2 so 12 plus 3 and if I turn equal to it's now 15 see you can see I will just zoom it so you can see the result yeah okay, I will press on C so now C is not working okay so now we have to fix this so again we will come back now we will put on else if condition here then now we will use this again here and we will do the same thing but this time we will remove equal to and we will use c so if the e dot target dot inner html is equal to c so it will so we will put the string empty which is this empty quotes And again we will return the input string so let's save again we'll come back here we'll refresh again 12 plus 3 is equal to 15 now let's try to clear it see it's now gone so we'll try to multiply as well as 4 into 2 is equal to 8 again clear again 4 divided by 2 is 2 again clear that's 10 dot 5 into 2 is 21 so see we are getting the answer for correctly can again simplify this code more this line is too big so we can just create a one more element we'll name it result let's name it dress i will copy this whole line not whole line just still the id so now just we have to use rest everywhere rest dot value Save is working correctly. So again, 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. Clear, it's working properly. Yeah, we got no nothing here. Console is all clear, no error. Don't worry, guys, I will provide the link for this code so you don't need to pause the video and copy the code if you want 
I will provide the code link in description, the GitHub link. So please comment me guys. Do you like this calculator or not? I try to create a very simple calculator with our basic operations. It's also response you I will show you. phone it's also responsive here nothing happening here so guys i have also created some videos on chat gpt and i also create some shorts so please guys support us by subscribing and please like our video thanks for watching this video guys next video we are going to make calculator with chat gpt so we will see that how chat gpt creates a calculator so till then please subscribe guys i request you please subscribe and thanks for watching this video till then keep riding